So televisions, computers are not necessarily evil, yeah, but they do seem to pack up. Depends what's on them. Okay. <laughs> But they do sort of like <laughs> pan, pa, pack a, a wallop or f for some people. So why is that, Simon? Anything electrical does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the problem with, with those things is because, rather than other electrical items, is mm. because we tend to sit in front of them for a long period of time, right? not doing anything else other than focusing on that machine. Yeah. That's, that's the biggest problem with those things. Yeah. Um, you know, there's very few other electrical mm. appliances that you are in contact with continually for more than 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, something like that. But with yeah. a television or computer, you'd be on there for hours. Right. The problem with all electrical, electromagnetic stuff is entrainment. Right. Entrainment is when your own electromagnetic energies mm start to start to take on the qualities of a stronger field yeah or absorb the qualities of a stronger field yeah so your field begins to resonate to the frequencies of the electromagnetic field yeah that you're in mm. so that just disrupts the natural function of mm. the the body on every level because there's nothing other than electromagnetic radiations. Mm. I mean, that's the night, that's what energy is, electromagnetic radiations. Yeah. This also means that it, you get addicted yeah. mm. to the thing that you become entrained to. So yeah. you get addicted to your TV, to your computer, or mm. to your, yeah. tel your telephone. Because yeah. mm. one of the things that I didn't really get until I read this is that the body is actually very efficient at using electricity. It doesn't actually need to use that much. Mm. No. Whereas all the objects around us actually need a lot of electricity to actually function. Yeah. So they're, they're in a sense louder than we are. And also yes. the frequencies tend to be very focused and fixed. They don't yeah. they don't vary. Yeah. Whereas in the body there will be natural fluctuations depending on what's required. Yeah. yeah. So the fact that they need to be louder and of a different frequency means that's why um, our bodies sort of like get swamped by these. Yes, things. they get sort of sucked in really. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so what's a good strategy for, for dealing with this then? Well, the thing that for anything in your home mm -hmm. is, as best you can, is don't leave anything on standby. Right. Switch things off. And if you have are able to, unplug from the wall. Mm -hmm. You can't always do that. Mm -hmm. But Because uh, until you unplug from the wall, the residual charge yeah. around that item doesn't actually dissipate. Right. And so... Um, you know, that's something, and I mean, certainly <laughs> it would be very difficult today. I mean, a lot of children, for example, had TVs in their rooms mm. and things like that, or clock radios next door to their beds yeah. and mm. things like that, and they're all giving off fields. Yeah. And um, The thing is, fields, they're not a problem until they're a problem. Yeah. yeah. All, all the time you're healthy, you're well-fed, and you're not emotionally or mentally stressed, mm. you're, you're going to be able to withstand mm. being in electromagnetic fields. Mm. But when the immune system starts to get a bit iffy, mm. um, or you get very, very stressed, or you come ill, then it's harder for your body to withstand those. Yeah. Um, and it's one of the, the things that, for example, if you suffer from allergies, mm you're more likely to get electric shocks off car doors or supermarket trolleys or radiators because yeah. your electromagnetic field is dis is disrupted by, mm. you know, it's a sign of an allergic, you're having food allergies or yeah. allergic reaction because it shows the disruption. Mm. And it also shows how easy it is for the body to be further disrupted. Yeah. I did notice that at work when they installed the, uh, the wireless network. Yeah. So the people who were a bit on the edge got even more knocked over, you know. Yeah. They were under pressure. But they got pushed even more over. Yeah, that's it's it. It's like there's more noise, there's more white noise, yeah. just noise, chaotic noise in the environment mm. at the energetic level. So those who are already slightly noisier than others yeah. will will find that more off mm. off balancing. Yeah, mm. and it also it, it's it's one of those things where oh I'm perfectly fine with it, so therefore you know. It's, 
doesn't exist. You say you've got a problem, but I'm perfectly fine yeah, with it. Yeah. It comes back to this constitution yeah. thing. That's right. And it, and it's like, you know, and obviously some people are really, really strong, but then you, you hear of people that they start to f- fall in with it and then it just gets worse and worse and worse mm. and worse and worse. And there's it's very hard to pull people back. Yeah. Once they, you know, particularly if you're living in a city. Mm. You know, and you've not only got all the proximity of all the Wi-Fi's and everything else, and all the electricity, and what have you, and you've got, you know, down in Devon, you've got your police tetra yeah. radio system and all that sort of thing all going. I mean, it's a complete soup. Yeah, it's like sometimes when I drive out of London now, I can feel it in my ears, and yeah, it, it feels does. like I can feel the energy changing, and it sort of like goes, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then you get a bit further out, and it's like, mm-hmm. and it. It's almost like it's just it coming down, down or something. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Mm. So there's the switching things off. Yes. And unplugging if possible. Yeah. If you switch off at the plug, is that the same as no, unplug? You need to unplug. No. Oh. No. no. Yeah. That's the th- thing. The, the field is still there. It's you not. It's not. The, the field. Circuit. The, 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 yeah, you have to break the circuit. The current isn't flowing, but the field, the field is still is there. there. Yeah. It's only when you take it out of the plug. Yeah, they actually break mm. it. And of course, the same thing goes when when the, the things are out of the plug, but the plug is on. The plug hasn't been turned right, off. Right, right. Yeah. So you get electricity f- if you're leaking into the room. You yeah. don't actually, but you know, it's that sort of like wires tailing thing that turn. Yeah. It is actually having an effect because yeah. you haven't closed off the circuit. Yeah. yeah. So it does create a. Yeah. Because we switch yeah. everything off at the plug, but we don't necessarily yeah. take the plugs I off. I must admit, we've got so few plugs in this house anyway that, I mean, um, well, like down here, we've got one plug that has to stay in, yeah. but the other one gets pulled out at night, mm. right. you know, yeah. um, to give it chance for the residue mm. to go. So, do next question, um, taking it to, to the next stage, is that you have people who say, well, I'll put a crystal on my um, computer and it will absorb yeah. the electromagnetics yeah. or that yeah. sort of stuff. Is there any truth to that? Well, it will, but poor old crystal, mm. you know, it's like, God, you'd have to clean it. Yeah. There are more efficient ways of doing it than using a crystal. Okay. Crystals work partially physically because they tend to have points and points tend to be have a flow discharge, discharge. Yeah. and, and yeah. tend to give out negative ions mm. and whereas most residual electromagnetic stuff the problem is with positive mm. ions so it, it's a neutralizing thing but as energetically as you said a constant field like that really tires yeah yeah i mean the bottom line really is these days i mean it's worse than even when you two were taught mm. these days you can't really fix your environment mm. very well you've got to fix you yeah you know it's like you know if you have total control over an environment you know like no one else in the house who wins you've got to then fine you can actually do something but even but even then you've got next door and you've mm. got next door and if you're in a modern house you've got a ring main which the older houses like you live in we don't don't ha- have mm. they don't have those modern houses will have ring mains mm. and it's almost impossible to yeah to deal with it so you're left with I can fix my environment a little bit but I really do need to fix and protect me yeah yeah so that takes us to the the load stones it it takes yet it takes us to well you mean the the spinning loads yeah well different ways of using the load stones so something we found in in courses is that you know you say oh and we're doing it for the electromagnetics but how they come out the other side you know is more grounded more focused yeah, you realise right. how, how, how yeah. yeah I mean I mean we were describing we must have been in Kuwait we were describing what we call the, the hairdryer trick yeah because even when you're away in a hotel there's usually a hairdryer yeah you know, and just saying to them about doing the turn the hairdryer around and do massaging with the yeah. electric motor that's what they and call it's degaussing degaussing, degaussing. Yeah. you know and, and that's the same it's like you know <laughs> hello <laughs> yeah. you know and it's it, it's just knowing lots of a bit like protection and support, no, mm. lots of different things, but there are particular things like lodestone yeah. that are very good mm. at, at basically doing the degauss, yeah. um, which is really what you're after. Yeah. So having that uh, lodestone or the um, hairdryer is basically 
supporting you on a constant basis. Yeah, because basically what it's doing is it's it's stopping the entrainment. Yeah. Mm. It breaks the entrainment. And it's something you need to do on a regular basis. Yes, it's not something you can do and think, all right, that's it, I've done it. Yeah. No, you ha you'd have to keep on keep on doing it. Mm. Yeah. So if you had somebody who um, has, um, let's say, a serious illness or something that's chronic or something like that, would it be one of the things that you may want to check on? Yes, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's the classic thing. I mean, David Tansley, who died some time ago, he always said is when there is environmental stress, energy therapies don't work so well. Mm. You know, it's harder to use vibrational healing. Mm. Mm -hmm. You need to deal to deal with it. Yeah. And, and the classic thing is, you know, if somebody's chronically ill, they tend to be therefore housebound. Yeah. So, um, and it's like the person who says, I feel lousy when I'm at home, when I go on holiday, I feel brilliant. Yeah. You know, it's all these little sort of um, telltales. Sometimes, though, I think people get ele or get entrainments from the people they're living with. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do you yeah. know? It's yeah, exactly the same sort of thing, because you've got a stronger energy and a weaker when energy. When you do the mm. electromagnetic stuff, it works really well with relationships as well, yeah. it seems. Yeah. Mm. It just yeah. cuts, helps cut that yeah. off. But if you think about it, it's helping you to be energetically independent mm. Mm. you know or integrated yeah, because yeah. you're not you're not got that constant, mm. the yes, constant. Just think of it it is like noise you know and if you get used to working shutting out some of the background noises then you're mm. you're clearer and more focused on what you can do and you're also more able to notice when that noise comes in again mm. yeah. so that you can counteract yeah. it yeah. Mm. I mean simply you know I mean if, yeah if someone's chronically ill yes definitely yeah I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're working in a, an environment where you've got computers everywhere or something mm -hmm. like that, then, you know, the thing to do is to make sure, the simplest thing is to make sure you have a shower when you get in. Yeah. Because water will do that. Mm -hmm. Water will, will break. Will de easiest, will de -gauss. Um, the easiest physical things that you can have in a space are, are ionisers, yeah. as long as they're cleaned regularly so they don't mm. get inefficient because of dust. Yeah. And... Um, Water feature fountain thingies, although yeah. they've got electric motors, which is a bit yeah. self defeating. But at least the, the water, mm. the moving water, or oh, leave a tap running, the, <laughs> <laughs> the water tends to, to remove uh, positive ions from the air and yeah. increases negative ions, yeah. which helps. Yeah. Which is interesting because I mean, that's an old classic feng shui thing, isn't mm. it? But you mm. know, you have your water feature, mm. you know, but yeah. you know, you suddenly realize that some of these ancient ways of dealing with things are actually. Mm. Work. Although they didn't have all the electrics that we have now. Yeah. Next question. So um, you can read about people who say, right, um, I've had some electro, um, let's say a generator or something yeah. in the house or yeah. just the power station, or whatever. Yeah, next door. Yeah. They built sort yeah. of yeah. crystal defences. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do, do they work? And if yeah. so, how would you go about it? I wouldn't build a crystal defence. Right. But I mean, in my time, yeah. I have done this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and it comes under the heading of geobiology. Right. So I learned I did a part of um, my health kinesiology was a whole chunk on geobiology. Mm -hmm. And the first thing to do about power station is a don't move to a house next door to power station, yeah. you know, or, or uh, whatever. Um, you know, but people do. Mm -hmm. And um, there's one client in particular I can think of. Um, one of the first things to do was would be to um, mm -hmm. on the wall closest to the substation mm. um, things like um, aluminium foil is quite good right you get I, mean, I don't know if it's available in this country but in Sweden they sell paint which is particularly mm. made to uh, uh, shields from electromagnetic yeah right so so it is possible but uh, aluminium foil will do it right you know always oh, you know it's a bit fiddly but it's so effective so like a, on that wall if it on was, that wall if it was out there on the wall yeah. Facing it, yeah. then it would be put aluminium foil um, inside. Based it, once a week. Yeah, it, yeah based, based once a week. Based once yeah. a week. They're yeah, basically stick it inside and stick the paper on top, basically. Right, yeah. and, but there's other ways, I mean, um, but they're the sort of things that, um, actually, we probably should do a course on it. Um, you know, I've done things like using mm. using cop copper rods. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, and once you can douse or you can muscle test, it's mm. fairly easy. Knowing that it's a possibility to use things like copper rods, 
Right. To actually deflect the energy. I mean, crikey, I only did mine as visualization. Yeah, I was so saying. I was saying. Yeah, but if the trouble is with visualization, yeah. is is it, it's not. It, it's it's active. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the thing is that that it's a, a case of needing protection and support. Mm. Yeah. So the same things that we do for other sorts of things will, we'll will do also that. work for yeah. Yeah. This particular house, the problem was that there was somebody who was chronically ill and bedbound. Right. So um, it was like all, all the stops, yeah. pulling everything out. So obviously the aluminium actually is a very sensible thing to do. It's probably cheaper than going out buying half a ton of tourmaline. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the trouble, I think tourmaline would be good, but then you, again, it's going to get tired. Right. And you'd have to keep washing it and what right. have you. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's possible. It's possible. You, I, um, yeah, I think. Yeah. And the thing is, one of the simplest methods for, for chronic build up of static electricity, yeah. which is an inaccurate term, but it's a term that everybody understands for non mm. non wired electricity, yeah. is that. Uh, plastic buckets of salt water yeah. right will do yeah and if it's really really bad it's only yeah. the plastic buckets yeah. not metal buckets <laughs> if it's really really bad mm. the salt water will bubble wow oh. you know, I've had, had, had clients who had, if you had a really bad thing going on and she put buckets and that's how it, it, we cleared the, cleared the space wow. okay. of, of the residual energy ok because I think because you know that thing that goes, absorb it then yeah because uh-huh. if you put the fluorescent bulbs underneath those um, power lines and mm. they, they fizz, yeah, it will have that same yeah. effect. Yeah, yeah, and that's because the field is is <coughs> fi- it fields around any mm. electric electrically active thing. Yeah, extend a long way from the object. Yeah, but the major problem is that when something that is conductive mm. enters the field, the field wraps itself around, around it that. Right. So, so that it increases the field strength. Yeah. So somebody, an expert may say, oh, well, this, this is safe because it is only da 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 yeah. But they are not measuring when you're sitting in their car or having mm-hmm. something that actually the field wraps around and doubles the stre- field strength. Right, okay. So this is the trouble with, with uh, ambient fields, mm. is that anything that conducts a human being yes yeah will mm. the field will wrap okay. around and yeah. increase its okay. strength yeah so, so hence that's why things like metal tables on nylon carpeted floors yeah. in air conditioned offices yeah with full computers of, with full of computers tend yeah. to be quite a death trap for building up <laughs> so those, those, that would be a solution is yeah. that solution is it? Yeah. yeah but it is it's when you think about it you know um, the, the modern office block scenario mm. is an absolute because you've got a concrete building with, with steel girders yeah. and usually lifts going up and down, down. a metal shaft which yeah. is creating which is creates a field in itself <laughs> anyway okay yeah so <laughs> are you in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> so next question so um, you've got lodestone that you could wear, for example, black tourmaline that yeah. you could wear, it's, things it's, that support you. It's the same back into ordinary support. You, yeah. You've got your, your crystals. And particularly looking at grounding things yeah. because yeah. that has energetically grounding the excess energy yeah. so that whatever's in the environment, you don't, it doesn't adhere to you. Yeah. It flows through. So, bring it in at this point, there are various devices on yep. the market. Yeah. That claim to do geopathics or yeah. claim to do electromagnetics or protect you at the same time. Yeah. So, what's the feelings around those? A lot of those tend to be resin based with, with bits of metal in, metal in them, mm. and they tend to be like a jamming signal. Yeah, right. They, they disperse. Yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, over the years, we've only found imploded water devices yeah. to be consistently work for most people mm. and least expensive yeah some of the other things q pendants whatever they are you know 100 pounds plus 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 yeah. um they tend to work fairly well yeah. for a lot of people for for electromagnetics mm. and of course also because they work on the water in the body they strengthen the water in the body as well so you're actually doing you got two bits on the go yeah um so they tend to be um 
and of course, you know, it's back to the support staff, you know, yeah. uh, you know, crystals, bits of wood, you know, whatever you, f you think helps to strengthen your energy. Yeah. It all comes down to those things may support mm -hmm. for a bit, but they don't tend to always be beneficial in the long mm -hmm. run because they are just masking. Yeah, well, well, well it's, it's crutching it again. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, they are supporting. I mean, there are some things you can buy for houses yeah. that are definite maskers. Yeah. In other words, they just mean that you don't feel it, but you're actually still in it. Yeah. Which I, I'm not sure about that. I mean, because you still get. Mm. You know what I mean? It's it's like they're not actually getting rid of it, mm. yeah, or yeah. they're not transmuting it. Yeah. They're just like painting it a different colour. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I mean, and there are. I mean. Crystals actually have a pretty good track record yeah. for this sort of stuff. Yeah. Something I've but of course you're looking at the not pretty ones. Mm. Something I read in one of Jane Thornall Reed's books yeah. where she sort of like yeah. did investigation of this yeah. and she said one of the things that she found was that because the manufacturers of these devices don't have a common agreement about what energy is, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's very hard to compare them because yeah. you know what one person's idea of geopathic stress yeah. is is different to another. Yeah, so right. you're not actually quite sure yeah. what the devices actually do. Yeah. And that was interesting because um, um, once you have it, because when I was learning mm. my geobiology, they actually got taken to places and your body was taught is this is this is what this particular geopathic stress is, yeah. given a name. This is what this is, this is what this is. So you actually your body starts to differentiate between the various different ones. Yeah. And one of the things I found that most of the, the devices in houses mm. that people bought actually didn't actually work yeah. against the things that they were bought for. Yeah. And this is what Jane, I mean, Jane, because I mean, we, yeah. uh, she, and she, that we found, and this is what we found mm. as, as collectively, if you like, as yeah. educators. Um, so you start to get quite a jaundiced view of a lot of the stuff on the market. Yeah. Because basically, like she says, you need to know what you're protecting against yeah. before you create something to protect against it. Yeah. And then, and then that takes you back to crystals because A, they're cheaper than the devices. Yes. They're probably more reliable. Yeah. And then the other thing that I found with the devices as well is the claim of, and then you can't give it to anybody else. It attunes it itself to your oh, particular... BS. Yeah. yeah. But it's a nice marketing ploy. Yeah. 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 So it's the fact that you bought this, but you can't share it with anybody yeah. because it instantly becomes yeah. attuned to yours. Yeah. I mean, it's like here. I mean, I'm sat at my computer here most of the day. Mm. Next door's Wi-Fi. It's just through the wall. Mm. But like here, I've got... Mm. And... Bum, 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 somewhere. For, for, the, uh, for the tape, that was... A Priscelli egg. A Priscelli egg. <laughs> and... A triple imploded water spiral? Yeah. So I sit on that. Mm. And if I'm feeling a little bit... Yeah. I'll go and get my shoe on it. <laughs> <laughs> and also on your computer you've got uh, and I've, a, uh, a I've radionic got, um, program. Yeah, mm. I've got computer clear on my computer, right. which actually stops my computer giving out crap, right. but makes it give out nice things. Mm. Costs about 30 quid. Yeah. So it's worth it. Mm. Um, yeah, so because I know I spend a lot of time, so I do do that. Mm. Mm. So it, and, and you notice the difference. You don't get tired. Yeah. You know, and um, and that that is actually something that we've also found is that, for example, when they work with the lodestone, the initial experience can be quite oh I feel weird and yeah. distorted yeah. and I'm not too sure. Yeah. And then if they go through that, they think oh I feel a lot better. Mm. Yeah. But that initial it's that initial because the, as your body's like. Getting itself di disentrained. Yeah. It fe this is the problem. Like, wait, we've got kids with their Xboxes. Yeah. You know, or their even the mobile phones. You take the phone away initially, mm. and the anger is, is, okay, they haven't got the thing to play with, but there also is that mm, yeah. because the energy's changed. Yeah. That becomes like a dummy, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. And it's like and it takes a while for that to get through that, and yeah. actually think, well, actually, I'm fine with it. Yeah. yeah. So when you're actually working with people it's like don't worry go with it I know it's uncomfortable yeah. it's, a bit, it's a bit like being addicted to a drug to yeah. a drug it's just you're addicted to energy yeah different sort of energy uh, is there anything else on the um, electromagnetics the, uh, all this area is is really the, the caution not to get obsessed 
Yes. Because right. if you start obsessing about all the things that can be mm. impinging guess, guess on your your, yeah. your energy purity, then you'll yeah. end up in a, a loony bin. Yeah, you'll end up <laughs> in a nice, Alaska. a nice padded room. <laughs> yes, you'll end up being sectioned. You know. And the thing is, it, it's just fi- it's just finding. You know, if you do become sensitive, finding a way to stop sensitivity. Yeah. And and just finding ways of doing it because if you can't find the answer, then ask somebody. Yeah. Because, you know, if you two don't know, we might know. Yeah. And if we don't know, we've got other people we can ask. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and so it's always ask, because yeah. somebody, someone will know mm-hmm. a way to do it. Mm-hmm. You'll find that there'll be, you'll tend to have clusters of similar experiences or mm-hmm. clients with similar experiences, and you'll become expert at yeah. something um, yeah. rather than something else. Yeah. So if you become an expert at... Mm. this particular area then mm. you'll be able to, be able to deal with it and yeah. you'll be able to deal with it without obsessing about yeah. it yeah. what's pro- what's, what's a problem with with all these areas is that if people have a lot of information but the most knowledge mm. that's when they yeah. become worried and obsessed about the dangers yeah. of this yeah. and the yeah. dangers of that there, yeah. there was something on, on, the, on the computer the other day where somebody was posting about um contaminated water mm. and I emailed back and said just stop there's no water on the planet that's not contaminated mm. yeah. you know get over it yeah. my dad is you know, <laughs> a friend who works for the water board in London and they have just done a couple of new boreholes up there and they were putting fresh water through and people were complaining because it didn't taste right so they had to put chemicals in it <laughs> yeah. like they put in the water that yeah. needed the chemicals yeah. just so yeah. they would drink it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it is, and it's like, and people, like so they get very, very mm. uh, infested. It's like, you know, mm. step back. Mm. Yeah. You know? It's, it's, for example, one of the, the only times I'll say to people, I really think you should have this stone, it's a lodestone. Yeah. You know? It's like when they installed the wireless at work, it's like, I could have sort of had a book a card and yeah. sort of said no it's like no you just no you just, it, yeah, you, you can you, sort it yeah you you sort yourself yeah. you know and um you know and we and i mean i i have done people's houses for them in dire situations yeah. you know and it doesn't always fix it fix it because you've got to work the people as well yeah but it usually helps mm-hmm. you know it doesn't necessarily completely fix the problem with loads of is it isn't all that Pretty. Available sometimes. Yeah. We stockpile it. Yeah. yeah. No, seriously, it's yeah. sort of like there's some, we'll buy it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think we did that yeah. last time, didn't we? If there's yeah. some, we, we just saw yeah. it and bought it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it doesn't come around that often. But, yeah. You know, it's such a. Because it, it, compared to devices, it's cheap. Yeah. It really does work. Um, we yeah. had some really nice um, uh, bits that had been polished as well. They yeah. were lush. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Actually, you can, you can get it now. Each on the neck, yeah. But I mean, it's the same old thing, isn't it? You know, it's like not pretty, pretty, Mm. so it becomes hard, really hard to get. And yet, you know, like a lot of stones you use as a therapist, you know, it's not not, it's the ugly ones that (laughs) that actually do the business, yeah. And also, one of the things we notice is, you know, the on the low stones layouts or techniques could come up in a in a you know, when you're doing a show as yeah. one of the things that, you know, there's the moon net or the amethyst net yeah. or one working out the electromagnetics as well. Yeah. yeah. Comes up quite a lot. So having a lodestone indicate mm. is Yeah, it's important. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think every therapist should at least have one, one. yeah. One in the kit. Yeah. yeah.